I'm getting married today. I was so tired right now. I slept for not all that long, maybe five hours, five and a half hours, but that's better than what some people have said. So at least it's something. So here is how the wedding day is about to play out. The entire bridal party got to the bridal suite around 10.30 in the morning, which I know sounds a little early for a 5 p.m. ceremony, but it was honestly really perfect. It gave us plenty of time to just hang out and chill and eat a charcuterie board and have some mimosas and get ready at a really nice relaxed pace before the first look, which was around 3.15. Good morning. It is about 9.50. We're about to head up to the bridal suite and this is as much getting ready as I'm doing prior to that. I'm in my bridal suite pajamas, wet hair, <laughs> good to go. savior of all things wedding right here. <laughs> how she eats her chocolate, or it's how she- So I smell the chocolate yeah, and take a bite of salad. I went and talking about that girl who like, does the review reviews, but she's obviously not eating the food. I smell it. I saw you leave. Yeah, I was like, oh, I saw you lean away. You lean over? Oh no, I was trying to get out of the frame. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know the drill at this point. Like, I'm just gonna aim it at you now. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Oh! 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 There you go. Where are those beach Guys, this, this never happens to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't. Oh, I just put three feet in the frame. Oops. Free feet? No free feet. Oops. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Members only. You guys that. So as I said on here before, I opted to not hire a hair and makeup person and just do it ourselves. I did my own makeup and my cousin did my hair and it was honestly the best choice for me. Not only did it save so much money, I really think having an extra person or a couple people there would have really stressed me out. I was very nervous about hiring somebody and not liking their work. And then not only being stuck with hair and makeup that I didn't like and having to figure out how to fix it, but the idea of potentially having to tell them that I didn't like their work. And it was really fun getting to play with new makeup products and like learn some new tricks and stuff to prepare to do my own bridal makeup. And my cousin did a fantastic job on my hair and it was just a really nice like bonding experience for the two of us too i guess uh so yeah i don't regret it at all absolutely the right choice it's starting <laughs> and we are on the move makeup is done other than my lips because i'm eating but it's happening someone at the door minutes so i would say that's probably part of it Small yeah, space, good kind of let all the, all the so at 3 15 it was time for the first look which i feel is a little bit controversial maybe less so now i feel like a lot of people do it nowadays but for us it was definitely the right choice it allowed us to get literally all of the post photos with the exception of some sunset photos out of the way before the ceremony which was just incredible because i knew during our cocktail hour when all of our favorite people were in there enjoying each other's company we would want to be there too we wouldn't want to be out taking pictures so definitely the right choice it was also just a nice sweet private moment for ross and i and I think it helped me get over any nerves that I had. I was really calm for the ceremony. And I think getting my nerves out during the first look played a big part in that. Hey, everybody. Look at us. We're about to get married. What? And we're... I, are you calm? I'm calm. I'm oh, calm. Gus is here. He wants to... Good boy. It's okay, buddy. 
Oh. Yeah. He starts okay, squeaking buddy. if people don't pay attention to him for too long. You can't go outside right now, dude. It's okay. You're okay. You want some more cheese? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give him a piece of cheese. Come here. Want some cheese? Treat. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Yeah. It's almost go time and um, everybody left, but Marissa's here, and Gus. Gus is here. Yeah, here we are. Hi, Mommy. Hey, babe. What are you doing right now? My nails. What time is it? Time for the wedding. It, the, the ceremony is in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> they won't have an opportunity to check. <laughs> Got you some B-roll for hey. your vlog. Hey. <laughs> and then it was go time. First off, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out this evening for Hannah and Ross. This is truly a very, very emotional and very happy day for them today. It has been such an amazing, long adventure to get here. You came into my life at what I thought was the worst possible time, but it turned out to be exactly right. My future was uncertain having just graduated, but I knew I needed you in it. I can't wait to travel the world with you, try all the new foods with you, finally get a dog with you and continue to watch the same handful of TV shows over and over and over with you. I love it. Exploring new places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you take Hannah as your beloved wife to have and to hold? through laughter and in sadness, through challenges and successes, as long as you both shall live. I do. I do. Ross, you may now kiss your bride. The ceremony was beautiful and incredible and I just felt so calm and present for the whole thing. I love that we had a friend perform the ceremony. It, it was everything I could have wanted and more. I also want to let you know that we did have a videographer and we have a full video of the ceremony that I will be posting on Tuesday. And also while we're here talking about that kind of thing, I want to let you know that there will not be a video next Saturday because I will be on my honeymoon. So. Watch out for the ceremony video on Tuesday. No video on Saturday. So then it was time for our reception. We had a cocktail hour, which really ended up being more like half an hour, 45 minutes, since we didn't need to take a bunch of pictures. And then we did the bridal party entrance to the reception, which you just saw. All of this was pretty traditional. Right after that, we did the first dances, mine and Ross's first dance, the father-daughter dance, and the mother-son dance. And then we got to dive into our incredibly delicious dinner of roast beef, mashed potatoes, vegetables. You'll, you'll see the whole words. It was very good.
So another kind of untraditional decision we made was to have our entire bridal party speak at the reception. Normally it's just the parents and the maid of honor and best man or in our case, best woman uh, who gives speeches. But we had small bridal parties of just three people on either side. So we decided that we wanted everybody to speak, but just give shorter speeches. All of the speeches combined were just about 14 minutes. So, you know, it didn't take forever. We weren't making everyone sit there and listen forever and ever. And it was also while we were eating dinner, uh, which I feel like was a good decision. I'm gonna include some highlights from the speeches. It's really hard for me to not just put literally all of it in the video because I loved all of every single one, but here's a little bit of that. He thinks that, you know, he picked Hannah, but I really feel like I had a little hand in it because she moved off to Cincinnati and he said, oh, I don't know, she's all the way over there in Cincinnati. And I was like, well, call her, you can date her long distance. So, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Hannah, welcome to the family. We're so excited to have you. At our dinner recital, TV and I were wandering around the uh, student center. And we couldn't find a recital salon. So we walked up to this long hair and hippie looking tree. <laughs>
some would say. Um, in fact, he was actually so mean to me. He would push my head in the snow till I couldn't breathe. He would shoot me with BB guns. He would jump scare me whenever he could. And I found this out recently, but he would only be nice to me if he was getting paid to babysit. <laughs> but luckily for me, now we're friends, and he actually texts me when he wants to hang out. <laughs> Here we are doing the whole cute cake cutting, feeding each other thing. We had a raspberry cake. It was really, really delicious and just so beautifully decorated. So like I said earlier, we did step away for a little bit to get some really stunning sunset photos. So I'm just gonna put a couple of those in here because they need to be seen. And then it was finally time to just let loose and party and dance and have a great time. My aunt and uncle made us these incredible Virginia Tech themed jello shots and those were absolutely a hit. Hey y'all, this is Beards and Beats. They just killed it. Hire them. <laughs> Video? Yeah. Oh, he's a beautiful bride, y'all. <laughs> So then at the end of the night, we got into our beautifully decorated car and our friend and groomsman, Justin, drove us back to the Airbnb that we were all staying at, where we all proceeded to stay up until about 4.30 in the morning and sit around a campfire and have cigars that Raheem bought for everyone. And it was just so much fun. It was honestly the best day ever. <laughs> Justin is our chauffeur tonight. Yes. In our balloon car. <laughs> so I would love this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so ironic. Ross, I was expecting suavemente tonight. You know what? Que <laughs> pasa, <laughs> And they let us buy cigars oh from this tobacco plant, just like. What? As a as a keepsake, or, they let sixth graders buy cigars. <laughs> what? My favorite picture of that <laughs> trip was me holding a tobacco leaf like this long, <laughs> and I was like ten years old. We were like 10, 12. We were we must have been twelve, and I was holding it. And it was I was stretching it out, and they were like, "No, that's fine." <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being invested enough to watch so much wedding content here recently. It was really just one of the absolute best times of my entire life and I've had so much fun filming it and sharing it with you. Just a reminder, on Tuesday I'm putting the full ceremony video up so please come back for that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a like for me please. I got married. That's worth a like and I will see you next time. Oh, no.